It's Friday morning. That means it's time to talk about the newest episode of WandaVision on Disney Plus. So let's get started. Welcome back, movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you guys love to watch movies and WandaVision, of course, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Last week on WandaVision, Wanda and her family prepare for Halloween festivities. Cool Uncle P sticks around and hangs out with his nephews as Vision lies to Wanda about what he's doing on Halloween night. He wants to explore the boundaries of Westview and pushes himself through the energy field which leads Wanda to extend the boundaries of Westview. After the cool ending and how she expanded her boundaries, I was really looking forward to what episode 7 would bring. This review will include spoilers, so if you have not seen episode 7, and it is not one hour like we all have been thinking, it's only 37 minutes, but this episode started off as a modern family type of sitcom. It's almost like where Billy and Tommy and Wanda are being interviewed. Nowhere to be seen is Vision in the house also Petro in the house as well so we're wondering where are they this has to be one of the coolest episodes we have gotten from WandaVision it's so mysterious and I'm always curious to what's going to happen at the end of this episode I was so so invested into this episode that it just ended and I was like I want more I hate that please stand by moment at the end of each episode but I was watching it and then it ended. I forgot that it's been going on for like over 30 minutes. I was like, oh, I need more of this episode. One of the biggest things we wanted to see was what was going to happen to some of the characters like Darcy, who is now in Westview. They are part of the circus. She doesn't know what's going on. Vision touches her head and brings her back to normal. So she tries to help him get to Wanda. But there's a lot of roadblocks along the way. And Wanda and Vision realizes that Wanda doesn't want Vision to come back home. And Wanda just wants to take a day off. She wants to staycation. And Agnes, sweet Agnes, comes along and takes Billy and Tommy to her house so Wanda can have some alone time. While this is going on, Monica is trying to get back into Westview so that she can get Darcy. They have like this big they have this big armored motorized space vehicle and that's not even able to get through the force field because of how she expanded that but also made the energy field much stronger well she can't get into the vehicle so she'll do it herself she runs through the energy field but something's happening and if you know anything about monica rambo's character in the comics is that she is actually a superhero and she has powers and we kind of see an origin story of her as she becomes Photon. There's also different names for her, Pulsar or also Spectrum. We get to see her have this big moment. It's really good. It's filmed beautifully. As she's pushing herself through the energy field, she, her eyes turn blue and she goes to confront Wanda. And Wanda wants nothing to do with it. So they have this confrontation and we see that Monica has not only gained this ability, but she also is very confident in herself to confront Wanda, which was really epic. So I'm really curious to see what they do with Monica, not only within WandaVision, but moving forward. And so then Agnes comes along and says, we don't need you here. And she takes Wanda to her house, but the kids aren't there. We see a rabbit, there's a fly on the blinds. And this is probably one of the moments that makes Wanda Vision feel like a horror episode. Uh, she says, Wanda says, where is Billy and Tommy? And Agnes says, oh, they're probably in the basement playing together. So she goes down to the basement and there's this weird part of the basement that she follows and uh, the door is closed and Agnes comes down and says, you're not the only one with powers. And it's revealed that Agnes is Agatha Harkness and she's been controlling things all along like Petro and she also killed their dog and was able to control certain things in previous episodes. I, I kind of had an idea that Agnes would be Agatha Harkness, but it still was pretty epic. I loved the mystery behind it. I love how dark it was too. So it confirmed a couple theories of mine and a lot of people's as well just within this episode with Monica Rambeau and Agatha Harkness as well. The end was just so epic. There's also a mid credit scene as well. So stick around with that as well. 
but it leads to some more questions we did get answered there's only two episodes left is agatha harkness the main villain of this series is there something more at hand who is this character that paul bettany has been teasing that he's been wanting to work with so long but i like the modern family style of filmmaking for this episode it felt light and fluffy in the beginning at parts of it it did feel like a filler and it was trying to waste some time especially with darcy and vision that seemed to take up a lot of time and seemed a little bit repetitive but the end of the episode was epic the reveals it was crazy it was mysterious i love seeing agatha harkness in here and it just shows that katherine hahn is such a good actress She's hilarious, but she's been doing a really good job in this series, playing a very mysterious role, and now we get to see it fully formed in this episode. Also, Monica Rambeau and her moment going through the energy field was very powerful, very epic, and I can't wait to see what they do with her character down the road. So there's a lot to take in with this episode. There's some big moments, there's some downtime within this episode, but it leads to us wondering what's going to happen for episode eight and episode nine. And I can't wait to check it out. I'm kind of glad though it wasn't an hour because I was trying to prepare myself to stay up super late, but only 37 minutes and like seven minutes of credits. The episode's really like only 30 minutes, but it did a lot within it. And I can't wait for episode eight and nine. I'm gonna go ahead and give this episode of WandaVision a B plus. Have you guys seen the new episode of WandaVision? What'd you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the ending. What'd you think of Monica Rambo's big moment? Stay tuned for episode eight and nine review. My name is Just Watch This Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.